What's up guys, it's Nubs here. Welcome back to another episode of GT5 Project Drifting. So, this is the start of our week of fun. That sounded a little bit sexual, but anyway, um, this is basically going to be a whole week of me just uploading GT5 videos. And if you're going to miss the next few videos, I really suggest that you're going to subscribe to this channel because I do upload every single day anyway. But this is just going to be Gran Turismo 5 all day every day for one week. So, starting off the first First video, which is going to be Project Drifting. So, this episode, if you guys are new to what Project Drifting is, I basically buy a car, I tune it, and I take it out on the track, drift with it, and then I give it away. And uh, there's a little bit more to that, but I'll get into that later on. Um, today, I want to buy a Subaru. I want to buy a four-wheel drive, just so I can uh, I can mess around. As you can see, I have every single one of them, because, to be honest, I am quite a big fan of Subaru, and um, I think I'm going to buy the hatchback. I haven't tried to drift with one of these yet. I have one of these as a drifting car, and I have about four of these. Like, I have about four of these um, impresses here. All right, let's go to, to this one. And I think I'm going to make it all original. WR Blue Mika Gold Wheels has to be, has to be original, because it looks good. Um, so, I went to one of these for drifting. Um, if you're that sort of person that says, you can't drift with a four-wheel drive, you can only power slide, derp, derp, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not really interested in what you have to say. Uh, I'm going to tune this car for drifting, I'm going to get points for drifting, and then I'm going to give the car away. Simple. So, let's get this car, let's bring it into the into the GT Auto Shop, and see what we can put on this car. And then, I'll go buy everything for the car, and I'll tune it, so you guys can see how I have to to get all the settings done right as well. So if you guys don't get this car, make sure you can go and buy your, your own car, I guess, and tune it up the way I did it. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's go to the GT Auto. This is this has been amazing. I, I love I love having 500 subscribers now. <laughs> it's not really that different to what I've had before, but like it it is obviously different because it's uh it's more people. But anyway. Uh, just to tell you guys a bit of information on this, um, the Subaru, well, um, any car, sorry, I don't know why did I say the Subaru, it's probably just because I'm looking at it, um, any car that you buy, if you change the oil on it, you get more horsepower, if it's new or if it's old, if it's old, you get even more horsepower because the oil is kind of messed up, but uh, this, even if the oil is new on a brand new car, you still change it and you can still get a bunch of horsepower, like right now I got about 10 I think it was, and uh, you can get from about 5 horsepower to about 15 to 20 horsepower. On, on a brand new car, and, uh, okay, let's go to the aero parts, see what we can put on this, um, nah, I don't like that, nope, and then the wing is just that piece of poop, nope, 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 don't like it, can you race mod this, nope, I'm guessing just the other one, um, now, one thing that I absolutely love about Subarus, and uh, a little bit about Evos as well, but I kind of prefer the Subarus for this, um, because the Evos have the AYC controller, which I think you can turn off, I'm not sure right now, um, but uh, the Subarus like, have so much power, and you you can just spin the wheels for days, and uh, that's like with a four-wheel drive, you can go around any corner and just spin the wheels for so much, and uh, it's going to be absolutely perfect with no matter what suspension settings you put on, but I'm going to try and put on some settings just so, so it makes the car a little bit easier to turn around corners corners and whatever. So I'm going to go into the tuning shop. I'm going to buy everything that's like basically the most expensive stuff. And then I'll go back when I'm on the track and I will show you guys the settings. So I'll see you guys in a, a little bit, which for you is just going to be like a transition. But anyway. Okay, so now that we're in the settings, I'll show you guys everything. So on the tires, we have the comfort hard tires because you're going to need them. For drifting, you can put comfort medium and soft and whatever. You can even put sports hard tires on it, but comfort hard are probably the best tires you can probably get. Um, and I said probably like 50 times there. Anyway, um, now when we go into the suspension, I'll show you guys how to set up this. Um, it's a little bit different to the, and uh, to the, I always really like the ride height on the on Subarus and all that stuff, like really high because I love I love the rally version of them. I I love the really loose and high suspension on them. But um, for this purpose, I'll I'll lower it, I guess. Um, I 
at least I'll do something that I like. I'm going to keep the front a little higher than the, than the back, even though it's not a lot higher. But, yeah. Anyway, it should be... Oops, let's wait. Um, do that, actually. Okay, that should be... Um, that should be fine. Okay, um, now when we go into drivetrain to, to get this, uh, you're going to need to go to the fully customizable LSD. All these are going to be the exact same. Like so. And then you're going to need the torque distribution. Torque distribution? Torque distribution. Um, and you're going to need to change this to... 90 at the back and 10 at the front. You can change it to 85 and 80 because that still works fine, but 90 would probably be give you give you the best results. Uh, transmission, I didn't want to get the fully customizable transmission because it gives it such a weird whine sa whiny sound to the to the engine noise and I really don't like it. Also, the exhaust, I bought the, the most expensive one. You guys can go buy whichever one you want. Um, I really don't like the sound of any of these actually because they kind of didn't make the sound properly for the impress in this game and I kind of really don't, don't like that. The only... Impressed that I know that has the best sound is the Mark, um, sorry, the version 1 to version 5, and then also the 22B, and those are the only ones that have the good sound, and only at, at low revs, if you put them at high revs, they sound like shit again, but, um, yeah, anyway, um, let's, let's have a little drive with this. As you can see, already gone into the slide. Very, very, very simple because it is a four-wheel drive, so it's very, very, very well balanced. So it's going to be a great car for whoever gets this. Um, it really is. It's very, very, very easy to make. Like to tune, obviously, not to make. It's great for getting lots of points, actually, and it's it's really hard to actually make it spin out. And I I love if I just spun out on this corner; that would be so funny. It's um, it's it's it just reacts so perfectly. I it's it's just a great car. I'm actually speechless. Um, it's it's just a very very good car. I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. Right, I'm gonna reset. <laughs> I went too fast. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, right. Let's do this again. Um, so if you guys don't know what the deal is with this, usually what I do after I take the car on the track is I get 20,000 points and um, then I give the car away. If the car does not get 20,000 points, it isn't approved by me. Therefore, I have to bring it back into the settings, change the special settings, change the gear settings, change whatever I need to change to make this car drift uh, and get 20,000 points. So that's... That's that's what the rule is here on 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 these videos. So uh, you guys don't really get a shit car from me. And um, like if I can get twenty thousand points, you guys can probably get just as much as that I can as well. If you keep practicing. If you're already good at drifting, that's that's good for you. You know I've okay. Let's try not fail this time. There we go. It's perfect. I really want to get a steering wheel for for a GT5. I don't know why. Even though it's, it's not on the, my main priority list because I still have a bunch of things to get before I can get like a steering wheel. I need to get a uh, graphics card for my computer. I need to get a processor for my computer. I need to get... Um, I don't know what else I can't remember right now, but I'm not even paying attention to what I'm saying. Let's try fishtail this into the end. <laughs> I know I shouldn't do that because it doesn't look that good, but... Right, anyway. This car definitely got... 20,000 points, and even because I'm messing around at the, at the last corner, but like, yeah, anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, um, this car is so awesome, uh, just like any other Impreza, that I actually am a big fan of, of Subarus, even though I'm more of a fan of um, Volkswagen, because I always was and I always will be, um, I kind of really do prefer, like, if, if I would take a Japanese car over anything else, it would be a Subaru, it would definitely be an Impreza, and, um, Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. 
And make sure you please leave a like. You don't have to like to get this car. All you have to do, go down in the comments and leave a comment. And at the end of the week, I'll choose all my winners. Um, it won't be in, in a sort of a, like a video or anything, but I'll just message you on YouTube. So if you don't get messaged, you didn't win the car. Simple as that. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to catch any of the rest of my videos uh, that are coming up. Again, I'm going to be uploading more Project Drifting this week. So there is another chance for you to win uh, the day after tomorrow and then two days after that as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.